Hi, good afternoon. It's Catherine from Integrated Men's Health Solutions. Um, today is day 15 of my video series and it's a really scary one for me. I'm almost out of breath as you can probably hear. I'm just, just preparing for it and the saliva has disappeared from my mouth completely. I'm shaking and my heart is pounding because today I learned that it's time to tell my story that I am choosing to step out of fear and share how I ended up doing what I'm doing now. This will be the short version, <laughs> so brace yourself. Um, I was physically uh, abused and traumatized regularly by my ex-husband, which started when I was 27 years old. The first time it occurred, I ran to my parents' house to recover the stress and trauma of the actual incident coupled with the ongoing issues we were experiencing was all too much for me. A friend recommended that I go and see a kinesiologist at the, at the time, Sue Dawson, which I did, and I ended up going back to him after a while and married him and spent six years putting up with every kind of abuse and trauma imaginable. And even though I finally got the courage to run and leave him 10 years ago with a nine month old uh, in my arms, he still comes at me with his crap. And his new wife attacked me only a few weeks ago when I went to pick up my, my daughter and refused to um, hand her over. And for years, he has taken out intervention orders on me <laughs> and has threatened me so that I couldn't tell my story. I spent six years in the legal system just trying to fight for my rights and to protect my daughter. And the system fought back and won. I was asked to give my story actually to the Royal Commission um, by some lawyers, but I had relived it so many times in that six years that I just couldn't do it, not even one more time. Anyway, back to then, two years after I first went to a kinesiologist, I started studying it. So I'd seen her off and on for a couple of years. Uh, I was still with my ex-husband at the time. It started off as a tiny bit of cash on the side, on the side whilst I had a corporate job. Then I had my gorgeous little girl. So nine months later, while still on maternity leave, I, that was when I left my husband and I ran for my life. I tried making a go of working in a clinic after that, but I actually had no business experience and just expected the clients to show up. <laughs> so I ended up getting another corporate job, which, um, which almost pushed me off the cliff. Five years into that uh, was quite horrendous. Meanwhile, I picked up more education and modalities, um, including massage, uh, while I was still working there, which totally changed the game. My corporate job became so horrendous due to a few bad eggs and I had to join the union to protect myself. I was literally hanging in by my fingernails when they then tried to transfer me to silence me. My life was so damn hard at the time. I had major health issues from the stress um, of the work. I was in and out of courtrooms and police stations so regularly that I knew more than the lawyers did I was on a heart monitor off and on getting lots of tests. I had my daughter full time in order to protect her and I had caught a cold that never left me. I thought I was going to break or die from stress. I made a plan then to speak to HR and apply for a leave of absence. A friend sat down with me as part of that process and we came up with a five week plan of budgets and punching numbers and looking at you know accounts and things like that to see if I could actually live off my business. I didn't have any clients at the time, uh, but I wanted to take the leap. Day one of that plan, I crunched some numbers. Day two, I marched into HR and asked for a leave of absence. And by day three, I had given notice. So I didn't want to wait five weeks, I had to go. Two weeks later, I was out uh, there and um, two weeks later after that, I resigned. I have never looked back. My business is hard work and I've never worked so hard in my whole entire life. Uh, but four years ago, I rebranded at Integrated Men's Health um, and shifted over into niching in the one thing that all men I'd met in my personal life were exhibiting, which was porn addiction and erectile dysfunction. So here I am telling my story, finally can breathe and not being silenced for the first time in my life. I now have the power to change so many other lives and my story needs to be told. I heal through this journey and because it's a very personal one for me. 
I'm not bitter or twisted from my experience, but I just learn from it. And as much as I must stay protected and strong, my heart is always open and I give all that I have to this cause. Have a good day. Bye.